You probably assumed after you die, you will get buried next to your deceased loved ones, or cremated and have your ashes sprinkled on some sublime view. Well, these 7 million unfortunate souls will never get that chance. Like most of you, I find it very intriguing in demonic folklords like Dante's Inferno and the movie As Above, So Below. So in this episode of 3D Intel, I'm going to turn to more of a sinister direction. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Richie's Revelations. My name is Richard Alvarez and this is another video of 3D Intel where I talk facts about a print and then later I'll show you a time lapse of that print and finally I will prepare and polish that print to an awesome finish. So with that being said, let's dive in deep in the labyrinth of the catacombs. <laughs> the catacombs didn't start off as a massive graveyard. Back in the 1700s, it was just an old quarry. One of the tunnels, which so happened to be under a cemetery, collapsed and hundreds of decomposing bodies flooded the streets of Paris. The smell was so great. At this point, authorities need to find a better place to stuff all these bodies. This place was soon to become the catacombs. After the worst epidemic in history of Paris and the French Revolution, the problem only became greater as hundreds of more bodies piled up. It took over 20 months to relocate all the bodies and bones into the catacombs. One reason why it took so long was because they didn't want loved ones or the church to find out what they were doing. As more bones was brought down into the catacombs, the catacombs was reaching its max capacity. To solve this problem, they had to dig deeper, reaching a depth of 65 feet which is the height of a five-story building. Today, the catacomb expand over 200 miles and only a fraction of that is open to the public. The catacombs are known for their demonic environment, which makes it a perfect place to practice satanic rituals. Paris authorities, while patrolling the tunnels, found an area with melted candles surrounding a pentagram drawn on the floor. And with further searching, they found old lanterns hanging from the ceilings by threads. Makes you wonder, were these satanic rituals successful? And if they were, what's roaming in those tunnels? When Paris authorities patrol the cavern, they stumbled across a fully loaded cinema with a fully loaded bar. When authorities came back with backup, the cinema was gone, as well as the bar. And all that was left behind was a note that read, don't try to find us. The real question is, what were they hiding? And what kind of movies were they watching? Definitely wasn't no Christmas carols. Cataphiles are extremists that roam the catacombs as a hobby. One day, a group of cataphiles reported a strange finding in one of the tunnels in the catacombs. While walking through the tunnels, they stumble across a video camera with footage still in it. While watching the video, they heard strange noises and it was clear and the person recording it was lost. He was running from something. In the video, it seemed like he was going mad in the dark. The video ended abruptly. With the camera dropping on the ground, the man was never found and no one knows if he made it out alive or not. According to police, it's very common for lovers to descend into the caverns and have a romantic encounter with each other. I've heard about people having intimacy at a graveyard, but in the catacombs, that's something I will never do. I can only imagine something grabbing you where the sun doesn't shine. Even though the catacombs represent something dark and full of mystery, at the end, it shows we end up all the same, rich or poor, healthy or sick, religious or atheist. We become nothing but rotting flesh and bones. So next time when you envy about somebody that has more than you, just know at the end, for once, we all become the same. Thank you for watching. Welcome back everybody, I hope you enjoy those facts. Now it's time for the second segment where I show you a quick time lapse of the print. Enjoy!
Welcome back folks, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. Now it's time to remove the print off the heated bed and fix her up. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try to paint it, you know, give it like a little nice uh, pop, maybe throw some black into the eye socket and some white to make it really pop out. Uh, don't laugh at it, this is going to be my first try. Let's have a go. Welcome back everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was a little bit different, just wanted to try something new. But just remember to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. And I know this video took a while just because of the holidays and you know, had to spend time with the family. But my next video will be posted in a couple of weeks just because you know I do work a full time job and doing 3D printing on the side. I can only do so much, I am a one man army running this tiny empire <laughs> but i hope you enjoy the holidays happy new year merry christmas happy holidays and i will see you next time peace